Hi everyone, Kimberly Mackey here. Welcome to Solutions. We're trying to get back to some sort of normalcy here, but I'm coming to you from my secret underground bunker because of course it's hashtag 2020, right? So today I want to welcome my special guest, Leah Fellows from Blue Gypsy Inc. And Leah is a gypsy because she's traveled the world. She's been a sailboat captain. She's had the most interesting life. She's a really, really cool person. But on top of that, she is an expert in online sales techniques. And she works with online sales counselors across the country in Canada. She helps them to be experts in their field and works with a lot of different companies, a lot of different circumstances. But today is not about online selling. Today is about how you as an on-site salesperson can take some of the best practices from online selling and apply that now that it is 2020. So we have to learn how to use some of those virtual techniques. We have to be better at closing for appointments because of course we can't have models full of people anymore. So take a listen. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And also, don't forget to join me for our once a month uh, webinar series, 2020 Vision, It's a Game Changer. This month, which happens to be this Friday, um, August 14th, we are going to be talking about not letting your business run you, but in fact, you getting ahead and running your business. So regardless of what your position is, having those skills to not let your day get away, uh, away from you that's gonna be a really important thing. So whether you're the division president, you're the principal of the company, you're a salesperson, you're an on-site sales, you're in marketing, you're in sales management, doesn't matter. Everybody's gonna be able to take something away from this webinar. So there is a link right here below. So be sure that you sign up and we will see you on Friday. But in the meantime, please enjoy my uh, wonderful friend, Leah Fellows, and this short video that I think you're gonna find just extremely helpful. Thanks for joining us, Leah, and thanks to all of you. See you soon. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me today to talk about how site agents can adopt some of the techniques OSCs use as more and more sales are happening virtually and online. With these crazy times we are in right now, I'd rather be here. But instead, I'm working from home like so many other people are. And when you're used to working in a model home, how can you utilize some of the online sales counselor techniques to connect with prospects, build rapport, and close the sales the way OSCs close that appointment? As an online sales counselor trainer, there are specific skills and tools that I teach OSCs to utilize in order to get that appointment. But now that more and more sales are happening online, it's important to re-emphasize how this can be used virtually to complement your sales. Let's talk about one of the simple principles of sales, listening. Now, in some cases, we aren't meeting people in person to walk and talk buyers through our models anymore. That's important to fine tune those listening skills and really ask the deep questions. When I say ask questions, I mean get several whys deep as to what is really driving their mood, their wants, and their needs in a new home. This is pretty much standard operating procedure for OSCs so they can set the appointment on your sites. And while it's always been a part of the site sales process, without a model home to help you demonstrate and dive deeper, you need to be creative opening up those questions over the phone or in videos so that you can better understand what your buyer wants. Another important aspect of being an OSC is knowing your website. Now more than ever before, as a site agent, you need to know the website and know exactly where to find things. Where are your virtual tours? Where are your pictures, your pricing, and your floor plans? These are places where you can easily direct someone to find things that you're trying to explain during a phone or video appointment. If you're utilizing video software to hold a live virtual appointment, make sure to load yourself to the floor plans, the pricing, the virtual tours, have those all loaded up on tabs beforehand and know how to share your screen so that you can switch between these during your virtual appointment. And lastly, my third tip for site agents to adopt and be like an OSC is 
to utilize follow-up. If there's anything that an online sales counselor has drilled into them from day one that sometimes slips through the cracks on site, it's following up with prospects and utilizing a process. When I say follow-up, I don't just mean one email or one phone call after their visit. I truly mean a process. If you've always been winging it before, now is the time to build out your follow-up plan. Utilize at least four tools to keep the follow-up interesting and engaging and set those touch points up. Make sure you're prepared to send emails, make phone calls, send text messages, and the dreaded video emails. <laughs> video emails are, are open far more often than regular emails, and it furthers your ability to build rapport with your clients. Ditch any shyness you may have and start using the video email. These are just three quick skills you can sharpen that OSCs use every day while working towards setting appointments for site agents. These principles and ideas will help you virtually engage in more of an online sales process with your buyers, build rapport, and close more sales. I hope this was helpful and good luck with your virtual tours and sales. I know you can do it.